Okay, so now we're going to work with with both vocabulary. So we're going to mix these ideas, uh, the professions and the new vocabulary that we have here. So uh, we have narrow, we can reduce, we can Google, we can feel fulfilling, uh, we can work in real estate, uh, we can be businesswoman, business, woman, business uh, man, or entrepreneur. Uh, so teacher, if, I think that you're in mute. I know, sorry. Entrepreneur. Am I sharing or no? The, I am in the whiteboard. Are, are Am I sharing the whiteboard or no? Uh, I cannot hear you. Carlos, can you hear me? Because I cannot. Bueno, bueno. Yeah, I will see. Ah, ok, no, sorry, teacher, eh, presioné un botón sin querer y, y, y le bajé, le, le mutié en la computadora, ah, okay. no lo escuchaba, pero yo pensé que era usted, pero no, no, sí fui oh, yo, okay. sorry. Don't worry, ok, eh, ok, ahora sí, entonces vamos a combinar el, el, el texto anterior con, con el video y, bueno, más bien las imágenes, el video y todo. So, if I, if I want to talk about this, I can say, I want to, I want to to offer maybe um, special as for business women. That aren't fulfilling in her job or Daily activities, daily activities, because they are full-time mom. Okay, so that is like like the first idea. I am trying to offer this special a uh, product or service because I'm working with this special group that is business wo woman or business women and business women and of course they will be female instead of repeating business women um the female from ages uh no, hold on let me change the art preposition with ages from 25 to 45 to 35 living in Guadalajara, Monday, Arthur, Monday, consider it my ideal place. Sorry, just I'm looking to the keyboard. Okay, so you will do the same because yes, now I'm combining both. No, it's me. Both demographics. I'm not uh, so can you try to do the same? Este te lo presto para que reyes con esa figura. So can you combine demographics using uh, some words from the demographics, some words from the uh, working areas or the, the video vocabulary, and also if you want to include like a magician or some of the slides vocabulary, please. What do you what do you want to offer? If you have a chance to offer something, what what could that be? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine that you you can teach people how to what do you do? <laughs> You're an engineer, but what what do you do? Software engineer? Uh, what is something so, you can teach? Um sorry teacher, can I what? repeat can you sorry. repeat the question? Sorry. Yes, uh, what is something you can teach uh, any person, like an, a regular citizen around the world that wants to learn the most basic things from your job? What is something you can teach? Um, I don't know. I think that maybe I can teach uh, um, how to install a system. Uh, mm -hmm. How to install a uh -huh. 
And if you want to teach people how to install a system, uh, what what do you think is the ideal age of those people and doing what? Why do they need a system? Um, I think that maybe the people between 20 to 50 mm -hmm. years. Uh -huh. Are they female or male? Uh, both, both of them can. Okay. I think both that, that both of them. Okay. Where do they live? Um, well, with the actual situation, that is not relevant because she or he can work from their homes. Uh -huh. But maybe Mexico or, um, or do you want to work with Latin America or with United States and Mexico? Maybe in a... Maybe in a... A national, how can area? I say it, um, territorio nacional or? Uh, national area, like you were saying, like I'm working it just in Mexico, a national citizen? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, Now <laughs> I want to know, are they, uh, are they studying or did they study something or they, it's not necessary they have finished a, a degree, a college degree? Or just with the high school, it's okay. I think that the the it's necessary that they have a degree mm -hmm. because this topic involves a lot of knowledge regarding to a uh, technical topics. Excellent. Okay, great job. So we are narrowing it. So the first part is that look how how are we narrowing to to something. And of course, then we can uh, speak something like he was saying, like if you need an special income because your product or service has a, it's expensive or it's cheap, or if or maybe via you will teach people like via like this thing via Zoom, or or I don't know maybe by Meet any other. So okay, that is something that you can work with uh, when we're working with demographics. Now we have something that we use in, we call it uh, the conditionals. Remember that the conditionals are used in, in different situations. We have the real conditionals that is something real. That is the conditional zero. So if I, I can say, if I work hard, I can win a, a lot of money or if I, study English, I can travel to to the United States of America. That is a real conditional. And we have some other conditionals that are suppositions and we can use may or might. Okay. Uh, yes, so this is like the use of may or might. And let me see if I... Uh, okay. The, if you could check the, the previous class, the, we're talking about the Catherine business that is related to the food. So uh, in this the, in these conversations we are using may we have the negative don't forget we saw in future using will we have will as probably a hundred percent and one is is it as a zero percent of probability of doing something or achieving something in the future and we also have something that is very formal that we use may or might a. Uh, some people confuse it or combine it with the model auxiliary can, but what I tell them is, yes, you can ask someone, may I go to the bathroom or can I go to the bathroom? We understand it. The only difference is that may is more formal and can is a little bit less formal. Okay. And, and, but we can understand. So we can use may or might to show a possibility in the present or the future. Maybe... You want to share a video with a student and you may I share it or yes you may or you might not someone can tell you no you might not share it because it's just for the class uh, one example I have here if you are talking about where is Stephanie how oh, she may be at home or she might maybe uh at the party or where is um Jimena 
she may be at the doctor or any other place. So it's like a possibility. And but of course, I am not a hundred percent sure. It's like yeah. a fifty percent. Because if I say she will be in the doctor, it's like she told me she's going to be in the, at the doctor's uh, office. So I'm certainly, I'm very certain of that, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, I also have example like this saying, I might start a Catherine business. It's just an idea. Why? Because I love businesses or because I love Catherine or maybe because I am very good at cooking, but I'm not 100% sure. It's a probability. It's a very huge probability, but I'm not 100% sure. The negative of may is may not, and the negative of might is might not. So when we are a little bit sure about this, they might not come to dinner. Why? Because it's late. We are supposed to get together or do to... Yeah. I, I don't understand what is the differ is what is the difference between may and, and might. May and might. Uh -huh. uh, they are actually the same thing. It's just uh how are they use it? May is use it in a question, for example, may I go to to the restroom you can answer yes you may or might is use it only like a supposition but i'm not you cannot ask might i go no do you remember when we use it uh some and any that some of, that both are used in questions uh, in this case may and might both are used in answers but the only one that is used in a question is may. So if you want to ask about a probability or possibility, you, you just use may. If you want to express possibility in a sentence in the future, you can use both. Okay. So all, also you can use both if, if you don't want to sound redundant like like the example here, they may not come to dinner. We might not eat out tonight. I, um, it's not very a good idea to say they may not come to dinner. We may not eat out tonight. Yes, maybe it can work. Maybe you can listen to someone saying that. But it's like an alternative. And it's also talking about both. In this case, both are used in the future. Let me write an example here. Okay, thank you. In the question. May I take your code? Yes, you may. I will answer as, as is usual, or I can say, no, you may not. If I want to give more like in, in the negative statement saying no, may not, I might stay warm all night. Uh, I'm not giving like a command. It's might is actually a little bit softer. So it's just a supposition, but it's not like you might, because you are not a mommy saying you might stay warm. I am saying no. Can I take your coat? No, you may not. I might stay warm all night. It's like, I know it's something that I have to do because imagine the opposite. I have, I have to stay warm. It could be, but have to is use it as obligation and it changes the total context. I am telling like, I have to stay warm because I'm sick. So I have no excuse to, to keep warm. Okay. But in this case might. Uh, another example, use it in the conditional. Let me show you here. If both the ticket, the lottery ticket, she. Oh. 
Okay, if she had bought the lottery ticket, she might have won it. It's like a possibility, but of course that is not like an obligation. I'm not telling, she may win it. No, she might have won it because if we buy a lottery ticket, it, we have a possibility, right? It's not 100%, but we have a possibility. So in this, that this is called the, the conditionals, I am saying, if she had bought the lottery ticket, she might have won it. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Now, I can use may, yes. If, if she had listened to me, she may be safe and happy today. Of course, it's a supposition because it doesn't mean that I that the person that is listening to my advice will be happy today. But I'm using may like a probability of a person following my my advice. And in the future, if she had listened to me, she might be safe and happy, but she's not. Okay. So that is the other use of, of this condition. Let's check some more examples. And okay. In the conversation here. And we are going to check the examples and also practice. For example, here we have may and might don't have S in third person singular. It's nothing different between I may, you may, she may. It's all the same, like using the auxiliary can or using the auxiliary will. So in the third person, she, he, it, I will use may or might the same. So we don't use the immediately after may and might, we can use the base verb. For example, in the next conversations, we are going to fight. This is a conversation talking about uh, some parents wanting to go and, or have some dinner. And, and I'm going to be, A, can you please help me reading B? Okay, okay I can say, hi, Carlos. Wow, what a day. I'm expressing like, oh, it's a hard day. How about going out to eat tonight? Mm. Uh, okay, good good idea. Good idea? Uh -huh. Good idea. Oh, but, oh, uh, oh. but wait. Danny said, hi. Danny said he uh, may. May? Uh -huh. May and what is like a, a, a birth? May come, may call, maybe? Um, he may come. Mm -hmm. You can say may come, may call. Uh, so I'm going to grab here as both options. May call or may come this evening. Mark, you know, or Carlos, you know how that is. He may call. I can use, or he might, if you want to use like another option. He might call in a few minutes. Or he may not. I'm telling that it's a probability or, sorry, may come at midnight. Or he may not. May not call or come at all. Okay, it's like a probability saying maybe yes, maybe no. Okay. Okay, continue, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right, let's go. Excellent, now we're going to change this conversation talking about something different. We're talking about different person. So if we cancel what we need like this, using another greeting, what a not eating tonight. Okay, different activity. Can you start the conversation in A, please? Mm, okay. But uh, well, I don't know. How can I start the conversation? Hey, teacher, or what? What a wonderful or what a terrible day, or or what a an amazing 
afternoon or something. We are going to say hello and you have to express something about the day. And then some plans like let's how about playing some football soccer or going to the movies or or studying for the test. Any plans like we are talking about? Okay. Uh, hello teacher. Uh, today was a very um, stressy day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how about going out to walk tonight? Uh, well, it sounds good to me, but wait. Uh, Stephanie said he may, um, he may reach us this afternoon, but she have he, she haven't. Uh, reach reaches is... ah, like like coming and join us. And she isn't here. I don't know where she is. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Teacher, you know how Devani is. Teacher, you, you know uh, how Devani is? Uh -huh. Now express what is the possible, what are the possibilities? She? She might uh, reach out you in a few minutes. Uh -huh. mm. or or he or she may don't come okay you're, you're right well you're right so let's call her and tell her to join us there okay okay very good so you can see this is talking about probably this i'm not sure and i cannot say she said she's not coming because that is a hundred percent or she won't come that is a hundred percent, or she will reach us later. That is a hundred percent. These words you see may or may not are used only just to express like a probability. Let me reinforce this topic with a video. Hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. May and might are modal verbs. They can normally be interchanged without a significant difference in meaning. I might go and I may go more or less have the same meaning. With modal verbs, there's only one form of it for every subject pronoun. For example, with the modal verb might, we say I might, you might, he might, she might, it might, we might, they might. The same happens with may. I may, you may, he may, she may, it may, we may, they may. Just like the other modal verbs, there is never an S at the end of may or might. She might stay. This is not correct. She might stay. This is correct. After might or may, we have the verb, or more specifically, the base form of the infinitive. This means the infinitive without to. For example, the infinitive is to go. So the base form is just the go part. Instead of to study, only study. Instead of to speak, we only put speak after the modal verbs might and may. For example, you might to go. This is not correct. We don't use all of the infinitive. We need to remove the to part. So we say, you might go. This is correct. She might knows. This is not correct. We don't conjugate the verb, 
so no s is necessary. We need the base form of the infinitive, so we say she might know. This is correct. Some example sentences with may and might are I might watch another episode. You may bring a partner to our event. He may have been nervous. She might tell us what happened if we ask her. It might rain this afternoon. We may be invited, but I'm not sure. They might go to the beach this weekend. When do we use may and might in English? We can use may and might to express possibility. There is a chance of something being true, or there is a possibility of something happening. Note, might is used more frequently than may in spoken English in this case. Take an umbrella. It might rain later. This means there is a possibility that it will rain later. You can also say it may rain later. I think she may win the singing competition because her voice is amazing. They might be late because of the bus strike. We can use may to ask for permission. May sounds more polite than using can or could when asking for permission. May I have some water, please? May I borrow your dictionary? May I use the bathroom, please? It is best to use please in the question to make it more polite. In theory, might can also be used to request permission, but it sounds very formal and is rare. We can also use may to give permission. Here, we do not use might to give permission. You may open the window if it becomes hot. You may take a brochure if you like. You may leave the room once you have finished the test. In these three cases, we are giving permission to do something. We can use may not to not give permission or to prohibit someone from doing something. You may not park your car in front of the gate. No, it is not permitted. You may not leave the room without permission. You may not take photos inside the museum. It is prohibited. May is used in academic or scientific language to refer to things that typically happen in certain situations. For example, drivers may feel tired if they do not take a break every two hours. Adults may find it difficult to sleep if they use technology before going to bed. These tablets may produce serious side effects if not taken in the correct dosage. May and might are used to speculate about past actions. Here, we are saying that something was possible in the past, but we are not sure. For this situation, we use may plus have plus the past participle. Your comment may have offended some people. We're not sure. She is not here. She might have gone to the market. It's possible, but again, we're not sure. What was that noise outside? 
I think it may have been a cat. With all of these, it was possible, but we're not sure. We can use may to express wishes. When expressing wishes, only may is used and not might. May you both live a long and happy life together. May the new year bring you love and happiness. May all your wishes come true. May the force be with you. Okay, so this is like a review, quick, quick review about this and uh, about this. So now you can use this on, on your wishes for someone in this happy new year. Eh, Carlos iba a comentar ahorita ya anda súper inquieto el niño ni siquiera me va a dejar terminar la clase. De este, hay problemas si pausamos hay que, porque ya está hasta volviendo la puerta. Este, te mando los no ejercicios, te voy a mandar foto de las conversaciones que nos quedaron pendientes para que los contestes, los, los escribes ahí y me los, me los contestes, ¿sale? Sí, sin problema, retomamos si quieres la otra semana. Okay. Y feliz Navidad, teacher. Gracias, igualmente, que los saludos a Devani.